sub structure. Now you you look at the sub and you wonder why is it got to be so bloody high? But what what besides the height is your hold depth. And the reason your hold depth decides is you need to have a certain amount of BOP in order to contain whatever you could possibly run into. So this particular one, the oil company says, we want to go down 5,200 meters. So with that, we need uh, a pipe ram, a blind ram, a shear ram, and an annular. So that just takes up this much room. And then a spool on the bottom in order to be able to pump our fluids in and out. So in order to achieve that, we need 23 feet from, or 21 feet from below those down to the ground in order to set our BOP stack. The sub actually comes into four pieces. So on in-rig, in-field moves, they would move each sub half in one piece. If they're going down the highway, they have to split them into four pieces because of length and width. Oh, so we'll head over into the pumps here. Go inside.
generate AC electricity, right? So it takes that AC power, which an AC sine wave is like this, it's an alternating current. A DC sine wave is a straight one, right? But the AC one, it does, what it does is it converts AC to DC and then cleans it up so we can control it individually and then turns it back to AC and then that's how we get our control on these horse high horsepower horses. The old rigs that were DC power, you used to have anybody that drives a vehicle, you need RPM in order to create more horsepower, right? So if your engine's revving, obviously you get to go, you can you can push more if you're trying to move a slow car or move or pull something, you need to have your engine revving. Well that's the way the old rigs used to be. These rigs at one RPM, you have the same torque, the same amount of ability to push or pull that you do at 1200 RPM. And that's what these AC, that, that's why it was uh, such a, a great innovation in the oil industry. For your, your thought run, in order to be able to spin super slow and, and, and select your face on the, on the bed, that was a, a giant step forward in the oil industry. And we helped pioneer that kind of innovation. Pardon? Uh, Academy did. Yeah, yeah, and then through Navy's. We'll head out here to the pumps. This is the heart right here. Uh, these three pumps are all, as you see, it's, they're all manifold in. You can open or close a series of valves and make it so any one of these pumps can do the job on the other one. This is called the mint shaft. Now, plain water, just a little water out of the tap, weighs about 10 pounds per gallon. Well, that's not sufficient weight. You need to have weight uh, in that mud in order to keep the drill, like any gases and stuff down in the well. Uh, you need you need a, a higher viscosity, you need more weight on that, plus lubricity of, of the different chemicals. So what they do is in here, they open valves and fluid circulates through here, and they mix benthamites and gels and different caustics and things, depending on the conditions of the well. They mix it into here so that our rig water will see what we're mixing into it, so it actually gets pumped down hole. And uh, these, what they do is they charge the pumps, uh, the main pumps, and then they also put water to this so we can circulate. There's another one of these up top if they have to do heavy mixing, if they're hitting a problem. Uh, and what they'll do is they'll take that regular water that weighs 12 pounds and run it up to 13 and a half or 15 pounds by adding chemicals to it. They just add viscosity to the water. And then these tanks up top hold the water as it's circulated through. So it comes from here, uh, they suck it into the pumps, the pumps push it down the well, it circulates through, goes to the shakers which are on the end of the mud tanks, and then the shakers are just a series of screens and they vibrate. And what they do is they're designed to shake the, all the fluid off of the, uh, the shavings from the rock. And the shavings go down into a, a bin at the end of the shaker. The fluid drops through back into the tanks to be recirculated through and down the hole. Absolutely. Yeah. One more than I did, except those that I said, Diana, whatever you put on work order are there, except the uh, back orders. Uh, you know, the draw works or I'm sorry, I ordered a couple of these pieces twice. You want to take the blocks up? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> So this is obviously the draw works. The draw works is just like a great big winch. Okay? It goes up and, and, and wraps through the uh, the blocks and obviously the blocks are just for mechanical advantage when you're lifting. Okay? And the, uh, the draw works has, uh, uh, you know, what disc brakes on a car are like obviously, right? This has three sets of disc brakes, 36 inch in diameter on each side. So it's a three by 36 brake. Uh, capable of stopping, you know, the, the, the full string weight of 280,000 pounds like instantly, it'll stop and just bang, right? Uh, behind it is hydraulics. A lot, most of the stuff is, is ran by hydraulics. All the functions for the uh, uh, the TMA are ran by hydraulics. Uh, uh, 
draw works a lot of hydraulics interaction for uh, uh, engage, disengage, and uh, it's actually ran by an electric motor is what drives it, but the braking functions are, are air over hydraulics. Rotary table, uh, it, they don't use it a lot, uh, but it, the, the floor will actually spin. The way we this drill, floor here? yeah, we have the top drive in there, so the top drive is actually what spins the pipe. Back in the day when, when I was doing it, the floor actually spun that centerpiece that used to spin. So all I can say is this here is all the brains uh, that are right here. And on the other side, it's just a cool house and storage for bits and soap rope and dope. Okay. Once again, I will take the camera away. Wow, this is too huge. Hey boss, how many trucks do I need for movies? Uh, 37. 37? 37. This rig boss were? 37 trucks to move. Yeah. Uh, so uh, 37 to 37 40. 37 trucks to move the entire rig? So this rig, what are they? Uh, this one was supposed to go up to Ground Birch in northern BC. Uh -huh. Now you often hear us refer to a grasshopper. I'm sure you've heard the term grasshopper. That's that white thing. All it does is, because the bearing looks like a grasshopper's leg, so, uh, and all it does is it takes the wire from the BFD up to here. It's just a, just a platform for getting uh, all the wires that could be plugged in right there for us. My friend Levy. No need looking, baby. 